Well, this did not take long. Almost two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks, and I got my 23 ME results back. So we're gonna go take a quick look at them. You can watch part one of this video where I explain the test and show you basically the simple steps to send in your saliva sample. It says it could take up to six weeks. Well, this took less than three weeks and I got the results back. So we're gonna go check them out. I have no idea. I've just heard um, from family, maybe Dutch, German, England. So we're going to switch over to the computer view. We're going to check out the results. Oh, something cool. 23 me has how much Neanderthal you have in you. I have no idea what that is. The part Neanderthal? Well, this ought to be interesting. Here we go. Let's go to the computer. And let's see. I sent this in. It just only took about two weeks, Land Less than two weeks. Okay. Now, I sent it in on December 15th. Today is December 26th, and I have results. Man, that is pretty quick. Let me just scroll down here. There's a lot of stuff to look at. Look at this, this first thing right here. Hey, Leanne, I have over, I have 1,036 third and fourth cousins. Over 1,000 cousins I didn't know about. And over 1,000 other relatives. I got a lot of cousins. I have to tell, I have to tell uh, my sister. Whoa. I think the breakdown comes out at 54.6. French and German, 18.4% British Irish, 2.7% Scandinavian. What does that sound like, man? Does that make any sense to you? Uh, you got Scandinavian? I got 2.7%, it says. All right, I'm going to break it down. I'm going to click here and let's see if I can break it down. I don't know what's going to happen when I click this. I have not previewed this. All right, here is the breakdown. Hey, I got 0.1% Native American. Okay, let's see. I got French, German, German, Switzerland, 54%. 18%. Italian, 1.1% Italian, Leanne. Oh, let me tell you that. Wow, that's awesome. So French, German, British, Irish. Anything else we can learn from this page? Oh, here's, a, here's my timeline. Leanne, I got my timeline here. Oh, your timeline. I don't know what this means, but my French, German. Oh, you most likely had a grandparent... Her parents was 100% French and German between 1880 and 1940. And then over here, I most likely had a grandparent, great grandparent, second great grandparent, 100% British and Irish, likely born in 1850 and 1910. Oh, cool. And way over here, I got my Native American right here in 1700. Do I qualify for Native American benefits? <laughs> How much percentage do I need for that? Okay, let's, hey, What's the Scandinavian? I don't even know what this. Uh, is that an I, Iberian, or is that an L? I think that's an I, an Italian. Does it tell you your father's side and mom's side? Or is it no, the um, to show the parent side, it says like order a kit for your, your mom and dad, which you can't do if they have passed away, unfortunately. Oh. So that's, that's a good, that's a good question. For dad. Yeah, it's a bunch of, bunch of DNA stuff right here. European. Okay, it's basically 99.8% European. Doing right down here at the bottom is my 0.1% Native American. Wow. Wasn't that exciting? You don't have no Spanish background? I do, you. Uh -huh. uh, I, Leanne is my Spanish and Puerto Rican background. Puerto which you guys probably can't tell from the videos, but no, she I'm is. My, my mom. Yeah. I so that is it. That's the exciting, my exciting results. I'm going to uh, play around with this some more. Guys, post in the comments below. Um, no? No Irish. Yeah, British Irish, 18.4%. Well, how much? 24? 18.4% right there. British Irish. I guess they combine those two. Aren't they right next to each other? Oh. Well, we're going to um, let me click on that a little bit. Oh, it just zoomed in on it. I just clicked on it and it zoomed in. Wow. They descended from the Celtic, Saxon, and Viking ancestors. The people of Great Britain and Ireland have left their genetic fingerprints around the world. Well, how about that, Leanne? Are you part Irish, too? Uh, yeah. Like half Irish on dad's side. His whole side is Irish. Oh, here's another screen. It suggests I'm 18.4% accessory is Irish. British Irish. And there's a map. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will have a health report to look at next.
All right, I might need to go here and find my DNA relatives. You guys got another minute? Let me see what happens when I click this button. So I can get started. Well, yeah, I'm going to do that. Let me go back again. Uh, sorry, Neanderthal. Like the it's like the caveman. It's caveman people. Let's see this report. How much caveman do I have in me, Lan? I don't know what this means, but it says 262. You have fewer Neanderthal than 69% of 23andMe customers. <laughs> That's funny. That's just kind of fun. Wow, guys, this might be fun for you guys to check out. If you want to do the 23 and me, let's go back to some other fun things. There's some stuff here I don't understand. Which we need to research this. Something about Jesse James. Any last comments, Leanne? Uh, no, I can think so. All right. Thanks for watching, people. Post any comments below. Remember to subscribe. There's a bunch of stats right here. I got a lot of relatives. The match chair. I gotta tell. Uh, I gotta tell my family. I found a, over a thousand new relatives. All right. French and German. Did you what? Here we go. I have. I have over 1,000 third and fourth cousins and many distance, fifth and distance cousins. Wow. Oh, here's a map. Locate my DNA relatives. Well, I grew up in, back east, so I should have a bunch around Maryland, West Virginia, Pennsylvania area. It won't let me click it, though. I got to get started. Look at my cousins. Some... I know we got to research this. I want to, we got to figure out more. All right, guys, that is it. It was a quick video, and thank you for your time. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe. We appreciate every subscriber and every comment. So thank you.